Scientific breakthroughs happen every day, but rarely do they affect us unless it's a new pigment or something else like that in the world of art. But nanotechnology has actually brought us something in a palette that can help enhance your painting experience and help you keep a cleaner palette when you're painting in your studio. These palettes are made out of nanoparticles that are smaller than 100 thousandth of a human hair. So the density of that is going to leave a surface that's not only smooth to paint on, but it's not going to allow the pigment particles to soak into your palette and get down in there where they either stain them, where it becomes grungy, where it's difficult to clean even things that are hard to get up like dried oil painting with solvents isn't going to affect the cohesiveness of your palette or its overall performance long term. It's not only stain resistant, but it's also solvent resistant. So if you're using things like alcohol inks in it, if you're using uh, turpentine and things like that, it's not going to be a problem. It will wipe up and clean up easily and you can just move on and you know reset your palette from there after it's clean. Now these come in two different shapes. This makes it so that you can use them for acrylics, for watercolor. The flower palette's always been a very popular palette for watercolor artists. This is a very generous eight, in, eight inch diameter. It's got six wells and either a water well in the middle or it makes room for a nice mixing well. Um, it's still small enough where you can slide it into a bag to go to a class, a workshop, over to a friend's studio to work but it's substantial enough and deep enough where it's going to actually offer you, you know, some large areas for washes and things like that for putting just your regular tube watercolors and working with them from there. You can see that these pull up nicely. It gives lots of room to make a wash just from that uh, dry paint alone. And then I've got washes with um, some watercolor ink right here, ready to go in this palette with still room to either add more water or even more ink. Now the butcher tray is something that's a great design that works for all media. Uh, people use this a lot with heavy bodied acrylics. They use it with watercolors. They even use it with oil paints. It gives you just the bottom inside there, an 11 by 15 inch mixing area. So that's a lot of mixing room. You can see that I've got some basic oil colors laid out here. Still plenty of room to work. I've got um, a gel based solvent right there. That's not going to eat down into that palette because it resists that. Um, but it's still one and, a, one and a third inches deep. So it's nice and deep. You can put a lot of media in there. Um, if you paint large scale with paint, you can put large amounts of oil color in there or acrylic and you're not going to have an issue with cleaning it out easily. Acrylics pop right off of this. So this palette is just kind of using science to better your art, to give you more time because cleaning palettes is a hassle, especially if they're wood and you're an oil painter. These just wipe very clean, very easily. Fast cleanup, durability, if you're kind of that old oil painter that still insists on freezing your paint, which I don't recommend, but I know people do it, this can be frozen and it's still not going to break should you drop it, you know, pulling it out of your fridge and, and drop it on your tile floor like you would with a porcelain tray. So the Darwin Stain Resistant Nano Palettes, give one a try and they make the perfect gift for any painter friend or relative.